Boats, Boats. Brisbane Yamaha knows Boats. Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha, and today I've got something very, very special. As you know, I love Evolution Boats. Have a look at this 600 enclosed with the hard top. You know, enclosed hard top. And the thing about Evolution is they're hand laid. Injection resin technology where they press the, in, the resin in. And when I say they're hand laid, they're not used a chopper gun. We're putting by actual wovings in, rolling it in by hand. And it does make a difference. And that's one of the things that make Evolution different to every other boat. Now this 600 is a true blue water game fishing boat. That's what its origin is. If you are a serious fisherman, you should be looking at Evolution. Now today, we're actually gonna do two Evolutions and we're gonna do things a little bit different. I'm gonna do a quick measurement because this says six metre but if you measured it as another boat, it'd be a 6'8". But Evolution, Paul Junger, the man that behind it, is a shipwright, and he believes they should be measured by the waterline, which is six metres. But every other manufacturer would have this as a 6'8". It's a very substantial boat. Now, what we're gonna do different is, we're gonna have a quick look at it, then we're going on the water, and then Paul McNaught. Come over here, Paul. Paul McNaught has been at Brisbane Yamaha for about 15 years. He is the evolution expert. And what happens is when you want to buy an evolution, you don't just talk to any salesman, you'll talk to Paul. Because he knows all the extras, he knows what's going on. He talks to the manufacturer every day. Say hello, Paul. Hello. And then what's going to happen is we're going to take it on the water and then Paul is going to run through the boat in detail. But first we're going to take it on the water and like I said, first we're gonna measure. Now, Paul, I'll hold it down the dumb end. You get up the smart end. Now, what I'm gonna do, and you can have a look here, I'm gonna take it to the end of this duckboard because that's what people do, and the transom's there. Where are you to the end of this bow spread? 6.7. 6.7. He's generous on that. It's a big boat. Now, the next one is waterline because these are a substantial boat and it makes a difference and it's one of the reasons why they ride. Where are you there, mate? 245. 245 at the water. In the water. In the water. So you measure your mate's boat, your own boat, it would fit inside this and this is a six metre. Now we've put a 250, a new Yamaha on it and like I said, I'm not gonna go over it. We're gonna see you on the water in a second. Well, isn't this a beautiful boat? The 600 enclosed Evolution. This is Josh. Say hello, Josh. Hello. Josh has a work experience, wants to be a marine mechanic, came to Brisbane Yamaha. I said, well, you better come out in a boat with me. I can tell you, this is a serious offshore boat. Watch this. All right, I'll just put on a little bit of waves, a little bit of RPM, 4.2. We're up on the top straight away. And it just eats this. There's not enough. You know, it's half a metre, it's blowing 10 to 15. You can see the yachts out there, they've only got a little jib out because, hey, you see that drone? Whoa! How do you like that? How do you like those marbles? You know, I tell you, if you're running late for a Sunday roast, you're gonna get there on this. We're sitting down. So let's say we hooked up on a billy and we're reversing. We'll see if we can get Josh wet. And we're chasing that fish and there's an angler going off that tree. Poor starboard, chase that fish. You know how they go, right rigger. That's not bad, you always get wet in that. And that was just going in chasing the fish. So let's just roll this baby on and watch this hole. So I just see a wave. Come on to it. The hull is just, it doesn't have trim tabs, yet it doesn't roll over. I'll slow it up, I'm on top. I'm doing 4-2. I'm doing 39, 100 revs. I'll turn on those waves and just show you how, the, how forgiving, how forgiving this hull is. It's soft, you know, and obviously you can hold, you can hear 
hear some of the hatches. You know, I'll turn on that way like you're crazy. See what it's doing. See what that turning back into it. Cross that way. Look at that. have a look at the chines they're reverse chines they carry through the full length of the hull and there's three chines on each side of the, the hull they create a lot of lift and, and gets the boat up on top and, and pushes all the spray out away from the boat so you don't get any spray coming over the side of the boat then we have a look at this shoulder here it's a big aggressive shoulder it's, it's fair to say it's like a front rower there's plenty of muscle there you get caught in heavy conditions and this this thing's going to tame it. It's a trans style alloy trailer. These trailers are custom made for evolution. They're full aluminium. They have a, a keel roller system with side skids and full stainless steel brakes with oil bath bearings. So they're built to last a long time. You've got a little ledge to walk around the front of the cabin, just big enough. There's plenty of room to get through to the anchor. Um, and it's got a textured grip on it there so you won't slip. You've got good grab rails. Side doors are a must in a game boat. Makes it easier to get in and out of the boat and if you happen to catch a decent sized fish, it's easier to get the fish in too. Swim platforms with a uh, concealed ladder. If you just show the width of the boat, you've got to see these boats to fully appreciate how, how much boat is in the water. And the way those chines are developed you're not going to get in trouble in a following sea. Those reverse chines stop the, stop the boat getting into trouble in a following sea. In the back of the Evolution, you've got over two metres of internal beam. They're a big wide boat. There's plenty of room in this work area to work with. On the floor, you've got that diamond deck full fiberglass floor. So it's non-slip, non-grip. It won't stain, it won't attract odours. In the back corners you've got your scuppers. If you're going offshore you need scuppers. Every boat over six metres should have scuppers. It's a big safety feature and um, it's standard with evolution. With the transom I'll just point out there's two massive live wells in this boat. Plenty of room in there. There's probably 60 litres in each side. So this is one side and on the other side it's possibly the only trailer boat in Australia that has this. You've got two slimy tubes. They're pumped so you've got fresh water coming through there and it's a big feature of, of a game boat. The transom there's plenty of room there you've got a decent sized bait board and everything's raised so that uh, your batteries are on a raised shelf out of the road. If we can remove this rear lounge we'll just give you an idea of how it's put together. It's very easy to remove And you can open up the back doors here. We've got two batteries. You've got your Yamaha fuel filter. There's room there for larger batteries. You can nearly fit three batteries in there if you had to. Well, have a look at that rear seat. Dan, have a look at that. Look at it. It's like a life preserve. It's solid fiberglass. That's the best rear seat I've ever seen. 
you've got storage for everything. You've got pockets here on either side of the side door. Massive amount of storage up beside the helm. On the other side, you've got a full length storage. You can fit eight and a half foot, nine foot long rods in there, fully rigged and ready. And again, all fiber, all full fiberglass. Um, this boat's got the optional king queen seat, so you've got a, a spare seat for someone to sit at the back there. Heap of storage under the passenger seat. And all these boats are foam filled, so if you've got an underfloor storage, this is an esky under here. It's about 100 litres, more than enough room for your cold drinks and beverages. You've got a roller door on the cabin, so you can lock up your personals if you leave the boat at the water or something. Um, full length cushions in the in the cabin I think they're about six foot four six foot five and you can put an insert in the middle if you if you wish there's a area in the middle there for a uh, plum toilet so we can do a, a plum toilet in there as well the seats are custom made they're not um, off the rack standard seats they're custom made and they're extra comfy and you've got a bit of extra width in them too. Sitting at the helm, everything's placed so it's easy to, to reach. And on the dash on this boat, we've got a Garmin 8412 GPS sounder. You've got your Yamaha CL5 gauge. You've got your winch controls here. There's a switch panel just there and there's still plenty of room for any other fittings that you wanted to go with. On the hardtop, you've got your Fusion stereo. VHF is on the other side so everything's tucked away. This boat's got the tilt helm so you can tilt the steering wheel to wherever you're most comfortable and this engine's the digital steering engine so it's full fly-by-wire control. It's um, new steering from Yamaha. It leads on to the next progression if you if you wanted to go full helm master it's just a simple process of just plugging in the autopilot and the joystick and you've got full Hellmaster. We should have a look at this hard top. This is the enclosed, and this top is rated to over 200 kilos. So if you're gonna pack extra gear on a camping trip, you've got plenty of room up there to tie your swags down or even an extra esky. Um, if you snore, maybe your partner, if he snores, they can sleep up on the top there so you can get a peaceful night's sleep in the cabin. Good grab rails to grab hold of. You've got your, your fluted rod holders here as well and your aerials and your anchor light are all up top out of the road. So if you're out at night fishing in some of the more populated areas and you can be in, fish, in uh, shipping channels, it'll be a good idea to see if there's any boats in front of you uh, to avoid any collisions. This is a Psyonix night vision camera. It plugs into the Garmin on the dash or you could even plug, you can even Wi-Fi it into your iPhone or iPad if you wanted to. You've got vision at um, night time out to 180 metres. Big safety feature, especially in the shipping channels. Now, if you're in the market for a serious boat, a true offshore, a trophy boat, a boat you can do anything with, a boat that you can rely on, come to Brisbane Yamaha. We've got a demo boat. We'll put you on the water. You know, go in everything else and then come in an evolution and see why I love them so much. And I hope that I see you in the yard or on the water and we're both in an evolution because they're just bloody awesome. <laughs>